In this module, you will learn about the origin of life. Looking at the pictures of these extinct prehistoric animals, it is difficult to believe that they had once walked on our planet. In fact, the Earth and its numerous life forms were originally different. To understand the changes in life forms on Earth over millions of years, we need to know how life originated. The origin of life forms or biodiversity is interlinked with the evolution of the Earth, which is again closely associated with the evolution of the universe. The universe is vast, comprises many galaxies, and is almost 20 billion years old. The Big Bang Theory attempts to explain the origin of the universe. According to this theory, a singular huge explosion caused the infinitesimally small hot and dense universe to expand, which resulted in the lowering of temperatures. It even states that the universe continues to expand even today. After the passage of time, gases such as hydrogen and helium got formed. They condensed due to gravitation and gave rise to different galaxies in the universe. One of the galaxies known to us is the Milky Way which contains the solar system and the Earth is one of the planets in the system. At the time of its formation, there was no atmosphere on the Earth. Its surface was covered by water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia released from the molten mass. Gradually, the ultraviolet rays of the sun broke up the water, which was in vapor state, into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, being a lighter gas than oxygen, escaped. Thereafter, oxygen combined with ammonia and methane, which led to the formation of water, carbon dioxide and other gases. The high-energy ultraviolet rays of the sun struck the oxygen molecule and split it into oxygen atoms, which in turn reacted with other oxygen molecules to form ozone, and thus the ozone layer was formed. Some of the water vapor cooled and came down as rain, which filled all the deep depressions on the earth and formed oceans. It is estimated that life appeared on Earth 500 million years after its formation. There are different theories that try to explain the beginning of life on Earth. Some of them are panspermia, spontaneous generation, biogenesis, and chemical evolution. Panspermia is the oldest theory founded by Greek thinkers. It explains that units of life called spores were transferred to different planets. Panspermia assumes that seeds of life exist all over the universe. Therefore, the life on Earth may have originated after one such seed was deposited on the Earth from somewhere in the universe. This theory generates much interest even today. Another belief was that life arose from inanimate things. The theory of spontaneous generation assumed that life came out of non-living, decaying and rotting matter such as stones, straw and mud. Even famous Greek thinker and philosopher Aristotle believed in this theory. In fact, this theory was used to explain even Anton von Leeuwenhoek's findings of animalcules using the simple microscope. Moreover, some scientists such as John Needham supported the theory of spontaneous generation by conducting some experiments. In one of his experiments, Needham boiled chicken broth in a flask 
and then cooled it to room temperature in an open container. Later, he sealed this container. After a few days, he observed a few microbes in it. Needham believed that some life force had brought about this spontaneous generation in the chicken broth. The theory of spontaneous generation was in vogue until a German biologist, Rudolf Fierho, challenged it with his theory called Omnis Cellular Acellular, which expounded that living cells can arise from pre-existing cells. However, he could not prove this theory of biogenesis. Later on, Louis Pasteur, with his experiments, proved the theory of biogenesis and forever silenced the advocates of spontaneous generation. In his experiment, he used pre-sterilized sealed flasks with killed yeast. These flasks did not show any signs of life. On the contrary, in another flask, he exposed killed yeast to air. Surprisingly, living organisms were found in this flask. Another theory called the theory of chemical evolution was expounded by Russian scientist Alexander Ivanovich Oparin and British scientist John Burden Sanderson Haldane. They proposed that the first form of life originated from pre-existing non-living organic molecules such as RNA and protein. They also pointed out that the birth of life was preceded by chemical evolution or the formation of diverse organic molecules from inorganic constituents. When the earth was created, the conditions were high temperature, volcanic storms and reducing atmosphere consisting of methane and ammonia. In 1953, American scientist Stanley Lloyd Miller recreated these conditions in a laboratory. He created an electric discharge in a closed flask containing methane, ammonia, hydrogen and water vapor at 800 degrees centigrade and observed the formation of amino acids. Later on, while conducting similar experiments, other scientists observed the formation of sugars, nitrogen bases, pigment, and fats as well. Interestingly, when meteorite content was analyzed, similar compounds were found in them, which proved that similar processes occurred in other parts of the universe as well. Thereafter, the theory of chemical evolution was most widely accepted. However, there were still doubts about how the first cell came into existence. Cellular forms of life originated around 2,000 million years ago as unicellular organisms in water. It is probable that all life forms originated in a water environment. This theory of chemical evolution, which explains that first life forms arose from non-living molecules through evolutionary forces, is now widely accepted. However, the origin of life is a fascinating and curious topic which will forever invite a lot of debate and speculation. You have now reached the end of this module. In this module, you learnt that the origin of life is interlinked with the evolution of the Earth, which is linked with the evolution of the universe. The universe is vast and comprises many galaxies and is almost 20 billion years old. The Big Bang Theory refers to a singular huge explosion which caused the infinitesimally small, hot and dense universe to expand and then cool. Panspermia is the oldest theory expounded by the Greeks, which assumes that units of life called spores were transferred to different planets. The theory of spontaneous generation believed that life came out of decaying and rotting matter such as straw and mud. Louis Pasteur founded the theory of biogenesis, 
which explains that life comes only out of pre-existing life. The theory of chemical evolution, which states that the first life forms arose from non-living molecules through evolutionary forces, is now widely accepted.